Hello YouTube, my name is Nero and today we have some Call of Duty Black Ops 3 playing a bit of Safeguard here on the map Aquarium, running around with the Kuda submachine gun, or at least floating around with the Kuda submachine gun at this point in the video, but it's one of my favorite weapons on one of my favorite maps, in fact this was actually the first weapon I got up to the gold camo, as well as it's my most used weapon, like if you go to my combat record and you go to total kills, by far, like above and beyond all the other weapons, the Kuda is number one, almost so much so that I need just to stop using this weapon because most of my gameplays are going to be with the Kuda, and if I want to have any variety here, my YouTube channel, I should probably start using other weapons, but I just love this gun, it reminds me a lot of the MP5K from my uh, previous Call of Duty games, I just love using it, all the way it sounds, looks, and everything, it is just so much fun to mess around with, I really enjoy it, but regardless, ladies and gentlemen, what we're going to be talking about today is actually going to be some quick tips, tips for people that maybe are struggling with Black Ops 3, I've been seeing in the comments of my videos, as well as I've been seeing on other websites like Reddit and things like that, where people are having difficulty with the transition going from Advanced Warfare to Black Ops 3, or the transition going from Black Ops 2 to Black Ops 3 hasn't necessarily been a smooth one, for some players, and what I want to do here at this video is give you guys some tips as to how you can possibly become a little bit better at Black Ops 3 and start to enjoy the game a little bit more, right? So first thing we're going to be talking about today is going to be mitigation. The first thing you want to do in Black Ops 3 if you're a new player or if you're a player that is struggling with the game is you want to mitigate what other people can do to you. What I think a lot of people end up doing is they try to play offensively rather than defensively, which I think a lot of people should try to go for the defensive mindset. Now, I'm not trying to tell people to camp in a window or anything like that, right? I don't want that to happen. I don't want this to be a can't be called or anything like that but what I'm saying is what you should do to try to improve at Black Ops 3 is try to mitigate both what the game is trying to do to you as well as what other players are trying to do to you so for example if you're using a weapon like this is your favorite weapon but it kicks a lot maybe try a different weapon, or try like putting on a foregrip or something like that. Like Try using some of the easy-to-use weapons right away. I would say that some weapons are pretty easy to use, would be like the KN-44. I would say that the Man of War is pretty easy to use, in my opinion. I like it. The ICR-1, the Kuda submachine gun. Just pick some weapons that have generally low recoil, and that you're comfortable with. That could definitely help you out. So, mitigating what other people are trying to do to you is a little bit different. So, I think a lot of people, right out the get, they'll kind of go for some offensive perks. Some examples of offensive perks would be Afterburner, which is going to regenerate your thrusters a little bit faster so you can thrust a little bit more or the anti elf which is going to start you closer to your kill streaks or overclock which is going to make it so your specialist abilities come back a little bit faster or gung ho which is going to allow you to uh, shoot and do all kinds of crazy stuff while sprinting and sliding like these are examples of offensive perks if you're a new player to black ops 3 run the defensive minded perks that are going to mitigate what other players are going to be trying to do to you an example of that flak jacket it's essentially going to make you immune to explosives it's pretty amazing i love flak jacket it is fantastic. I run it on everything. Some people think that Flag Jacket is an objective only perk. Not the case. If you're a player that's playing Team Deathmatch or Free Throw or what have you, the safety and comfort of knowing that you're not going to die to a random grenade, you're not going to die to a random trip mine, it's pretty freaking amazing. Even some specialist abilities can kind of uh, be hindered a little bit by Flag Jacket. It's a fantastic overall perk. I definitely recommend using it. Same thing goes for Tactical Mask. It does the same thing that Flag Jacket does, except it protects you from special grenades. Run silencers on your weapons, or if you get high enough level, just straight up run Ghost. Make it so UAVs can't see you while you're moving. If you're not high enough level for Ghost, I definitely recommend trying out silencers. I definitely recommend shooting down UAVs and carrying UAVs because those things obviously are going to hurt you, right? A UAV puts you on the minimap. The other team knows where you're at. A carry UAV hides your minimap from you and your teammates make it so you can't see where they're at. So if you're shooting down that stuff, not only are you getting a little bit of experience, but you're making it so the other team doesn't know where you're at. You're making it so you can see them if they have a carry UAV up as well as it's just straight up helping you and your team succeed, it's definitely a pretty good thing. Now, this is a tip that may be a little bit controversial, but if you're a fan of the game modes Free For All or Search and Destroy, I recommend not playing those game modes until you're a high enough level to have dead silence. Otherwise, people are going to be listening for you, and they are going to hear you coming. This isn't as prevalent in other game types other than Search and Destroy and Free For All, but it is somewhat prevalent, right? Dead silence is all but mandatory in Free For All and Search and Destroy. People are going to be listening for you, and if you're having Having trouble in those game modes it's probably because the other players in those game modes are just straight up listening for you and they hear you coming and it's pretty simple for them to hear you if you don't have dead silence on right so those are some quick mitigation tips some other quick tips i can give you guys for black ops 3 slow down right just try to slow down i mean a lot of people like right from the get they're like wow i could run on walls while i have this crazy specialist ability i can always be uh, firing my weapon even as i'm mantling i can have these thruster packs that allow me to get to places faster i think initially right out the gate people try 
tried to rush really hard in Black Ops 3. And again, I'm not saying go sit in the window. I'm not saying become like a full-on camper or anything like that. Because I don't think anybody really likes to have a very slow game. I think we all want like a nice mid-ground. Like I don't think everybody wants a game where everybody's rushing around with a shotgun and an SMG. But at the same time, I don't think everybody wants everybody constantly sitting back with like a light machine gun or a sniper rifle. I think everybody wants kind of like this mid-ground where some people are rushing, some people are camping. Like there's a nice mix there, I suppose. Just slow down. It's really that simple. Just try to slow down until you get super comfortable with the maps, like to the point where you can start to predict spawns a little bit and you have a ton of map awareness in general. Just slow down a little bit. Again, I'm not saying go sit in the window on Infected the entire game or anything like that. I'm just saying slow down a little bit, take it slower, kind of like uh, smell the roses a little bit and kind of get an idea of what's happening and pay attention to your mini map. Pay attention to that stuff. If UAVs are sweeping or if like uh, you have a friendly hater up in the air, pay attention to where the opposing team is actually spawning. You can watch them spawn with those kill streaks. You can kind of get an idea like, oh, okay. So in this situation where we have B and C and our teammates are positioned this way, it appears that they always spawn over there in that area. Like, pay attention to that kind of stuff. Just slow down, smell the roses, and get a feel for the game. Don't just go whole hog with it and just like start running around with submachine guns and stuff like that. Like I tried to do when I first started playing Black Ops 3. Another tip I can give is to try to play with a group. Like most online games, I think we all understand this and can agree on this. In most online games, a party or a group of people is going to most of the time be a team of strangers, right? Call of Duty is one of those rare exceptions to the rule where one or two very good players can outclass an entire opposing team and carry their team of bad players to victory. That can happen, but it's super stressful to play that way. So if you have the ability to, I recommend trying to play with your friends, try to play with family, or even use online tools like the comment section of this video to add people and start parties. I think that would be pretty cool. In the comments of this video, if you guys want to add each other, say, hey, my name is Johnny No Scopes, and I play on the Xbox One, or hey, my name is Timmy No Thumbs, and I play on the PlayStation 4. Add each other and play with each other and start some parties. I think you guys will enjoy it a little bit more if you're playing with a group. I've been fortunate enough to have a bunch of friends that already love Call of Duty and they've all kind of recently started coming back to Call of Duty. Like these are people I've been playing with for years. They all started recently coming back to Call of Duty, which you're which I'm sure you see them in the gameplays of my videos. So I'm very happy and fortunate to have a group of people to play with every time I get on Black Ops 3, but not everybody's like that. So using online tools like the comment section of this video or tools like Reddit or just all the other various tools online where people get together and form groups. Feel free to go ahead and do that because playing Call of Duty is infinitely more fun, in my opinion, if you're playing with a group rather than playing solo. And the final quick tip I want to give you guys, your stats don't matter. Kind of, right? I've always been a proponent that stats matter in Call of Duty. You know, if you're somebody that has a really good KD and a really good score for like you're typically going to be a good player. Stats do prove something. But here in Black Ops 3, nobody sees your stats besides you. And I hope they don't change this, honestly. I've heard rumors that they're going to change it because right now you cannot see other people's combat records the way you could in Black Ops 1 and in Black Ops 2, which I personally think is awesome. I love the fact that people can't see each other's stats because people aren't. They're not feeling obligated to try to have amazing stats. They're not camping for a high KD. They're not doing anything like that, right? So nobody can see your stats beside you unless they look at the leaderboards. But even if they look at the leaderboards, that doesn't tell them the whole story. They can't see your overall KD. They can't see your overall win-loss. They can't see your overall score per minute. None of that. Again, this could change, but at this point in time, as of this video going up, they can't see that stuff. So don't worry about it. Don't get frustrated if your KD isn't very good because nobody can see it. What does it matter? Just focus on you. Focus on having fun. Focus on completing challenges and focus on trying to improve at the game one match at a time and I think you're going to find a lot more overall enjoyment of the game once you kind of realize that hey I'm not too stressed out about my stats I want to come in here and have some fun I want to complete some challenges I want to try to win the match and I think you guys are going to have a lot more fun if you go into it with that mindset all right so that's going to be my video just some quick tips for you guys for players that may be struggling with Black Ops 3 in its early stages again the game itself hasn't even been out for an entire month but the transition period going from advanced warfare to Black Ops 3 or for some players from Black Ops 2 to Black Ops 3 hasn't been the necessarily smooth one so hopefully this video could kind of alleviate that a little bit give you guys some quick tips and uh, hopefully you can take them online and put them to good use and start enjoying black ops 3 a little bit more well ladies and gentlemen if you guys have any more quick tips that you guys would like to leave in the comment section of this video feel free to do so as well as feel free to add each other via the comment section of this video so you guys can start playing in parties and start having some fun all right feel free to do that i hope you guys all enjoyed this video remember to leave a rating and i hope you guys all have a wonderful day.